Hey guys, this is our YouTube channel, The Papaya. <laughs> and we go on about random stuff over here. Many random stuff because we are random. <laughs> Today, we are diving into one of the most mind-boggling thought experiments in time travel, the grandfather's paradox. That's right, Agna. Imagine you are a time traveler and you accidentally prevent your grandfather from meeting your grandmother. What happens? Well, if your grandfather never meets your grandmother, your parent was never born. And if your parent was never born, you were never born. And how can you then travel back in time in the first place? Exactly, and it's a paradox that seems to defy logic. But we are here to break it down and explore some theories, solutions, and pop culture <laughs> references that go to the grandfather's paradox. And like that would make it more fascinating, I would say. Let's start with basics. So, grandfather's paradox is a classic thought experiment. It's essentially a loop of contradictions. Like, if you change the past, how can the future or your present remain the same? That's right. The paradox challenges the idea of causality, the principle that causes a precedence effect. If you undo a cause, your grandparents' meeting, the effect, your existence, is also undone. Mm -hmm. It's a real brain to serve. Okay. And like, this paradox doesn't just limit to grandfathers. It could be anything, any event, any pivotal event in history, like uh, stopping your parents' meeting or stopping any historical figure from achieving something, like it's basically all about altering a key moment in the past. So, what did the scientists and the philosophers think about the grandfather's paradox? Let's explore some theory. First up, the multiverse theory. Yes, the idea that every decision creates a new parallel universe. If you prevent your grandfather from meeting your grandmother, you've simply created a new or parallel timeline where you don't exist. But in the original timeline, nothing changes. This concept was given by Hugh Everett in 1954 during his PhD. Uh, it's also a popular theory in the science uh, For example, take the Avengers Endgame. It is beautifully shown that Avengers Next we have the self-consistency principle. This theory says that you can't really change the past in a way that it creates a paradox. If you go back in time, anything you do already is a part of history. Like in the Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, everything that Harry and Hermione did in the past were already accounted for in the present. Yes, and then there's this concept of closed timeline curves from physics. This idea suggests that time travel is possible, but only when it is consistent to the laws of the universe. In other words, paradoxes cannot happen. Speaking of physics, let's talk about um, Fernando Equilio, Gunnar Glickheimer, and Kip Thorne's fascinating Williams experiment. Uh, the trio actually proposed an illustration of the grandfather's paradox, but actually stated in the past. Were to, prevent, were to prevent the time travel itself from occurring. In this context, if a billiard ball is thrown at an angle in a bomb hole in such a way that it exists and it collides with itself but in the past, therefore this event knocks off the possibility of the ball entering into the bomb hole at all. Through mathematical equations, it was found out that bomb holes were designed in such a way that not allow the ball to talk itself off. In a nutshell, even if the ball is hit itself, the part of its dark travels will be significantly be affected. This equation further deduced the concept of time dilation and CTC formation, suggesting that if one mouth of a wormhole travels at relativistic speeds and experiences different potentials, a time difference is introduced between the two mouths. The solution? The universe self corrects to avoid any contradictions. In their view, the act of putting up a billiard ball and uh, 
your decision to avoid any risky decisions are a part of a consistent timeline. In the way, the timeline loops it loops itself back without causing any paradox. Yeah. What's fascinating is how this experiment ties into the idea of self-consistency. The timeline adjusts so that every moment or event without even the warning fits together so seamlessly. No paradox, just the universe playing by its own logical way. It the must. Totally. I actually think like it's a very brilliant example of how theoretical physics can tackle on mind-bending problems like the grandfather's paradox. It shows us that even if time travel were possible, there might be natural limits to what we could do in the past. Yeah. Imply, quote, jo hona hai, wo tal ho kari rahega. Yeah, unquote. This paradox has been an inspiration to countless movies, books and TV shows. One of the most famous examples is also the one which I used to watch with my dad a lot. Back to the Future. Uh, remember when Marty McFly accidentally prevents his parents from meeting? Oh, absolutely. And then he starts failing out of existence, the grandfather's paradox. And then this Doctor Who, which in almost every episode explores paradoxes. And let's not forget the Terminator. Right. In the Terminator, if Sarah Connor is killed before giving birth to John Connor, then John can't send Kyle back in time and save her. Um, it's a time loop and a paradox all in one. <laughs> yeah, and in addition to all these mainstream commercials, the same concept is used in a short film called One Minute Time Machine. Yes guys, do check out how the universe gets divided into two timelines where the protagonist travels back in time just for a minute and kills, kills himself, himself yeah. and, but nothing changes. Yeah, yeah. right. And like nothing no. changes in the original no. time frame yeah. although a new branch of timeline has opened yeah and all of this happens just in one minute as the name suggests <laughs>
whether it's science, philosophy or pop culture, the paradox always challenges us to think about the nature of time and our place in it. Yeah. Thank you for joining us on this journey through time. Don't forget to like and subscribe to never miss out on such videos. And let us know in the comments if you could time travel. What's the first thing that you do? Until next time, keep twisting time. <laughs>